Today we're going to be taking a look at six new TV shows and movies coming out June 2023 that feature queer women in them. Starting us off is one that's in May, but May 31st, right at the end of May, we have Nancy Drew coming back to the CW. You are not going to die tonight. So this is going to be its final season and I enjoy watching Nancy Drew. We have a main queer character and then we've had some obviously side ca characters. Bess, she's queer, she's a lesbian. I love her and I have shipped her with George since the get go, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> They gave us like Bess and Odette for like half a season, which, oh, I was into. For those of you that don't know, Odette was like a ghost that possessed George's body. So it was kind of like we got Bess and George. You and I may have been a fantasy, but you have made me whole. But whatever. George is like in love with Nick or something. I, <laughs> bums me out, but. Uh, we do have a main uh, queer character, which I love her. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what what Nancy Drew comes up with in its last season. Very interested to see where it goes. Coming out uh, June second on Paramount Plus, we have a reality dating show called Love Always. Now, as of recording this, I don't think there's been a trailer released yet, which is annoying. Um, but from what I've gathered of this show, it's like I mentioned, a reality dating show where the premise is it's a pansexual dating show. We do have like a a main. Uh, contestant is that what you would call it apparently her name is Lexi and she's a TikTok video creator and then you have all these other suitors that are vying for her love right but obviously it's very queer it's a pansexual dating show so there's gonna be lots of love affairs within the contestants as well so it's interesting I don't know how they have like a central person in this show I don't know how that's gonna work um, but I'm very curious to check it out it's being developed by Awesomeness TV, which is a YouTube channel, but I don't think it's airing on there. I'm pretty sure it's just airing on Paramount Plus. So that is starting uh, June 2nd. Are you running into the issue where websites or service providers or streaming sites are requiring you to log into your home network over a certain period of time? Well, today's sponsor NordVPN has a solution for you and it is free. MeshNet is a feature that comes with the NordVPN app, but it is free to use. You can connect to as many as 10 internal devices and 50 external devices. So like I mentioned, there is a string of websites or service providers, or streaming networks requiring users to log into their home network after a certain period of time. With MeshNet, you can connect a device to your home network and then have external devices connect to that home network via MeshNet. This will allow you to connect to websites or use the internet using your home network's IP address. There's a heap of other cool features that MeshNet allows you to do. Again, it's free of charge. So if you're interested in checking it out, check it out for free at nordvpn.com slash Alex MeshNet. Again, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Coming out June 8th is the fourth and final season of Never Have I Ever on Netflix. I think we've really grown to being the poised, fearless women we always dreamed we'd be. Oh shit, there's Ben, hide me. This is a sort of rom-com teen drama show, right? I watched the first season. I don't think I've seen the last two seasons. There is this like main love triangle between the main character and two guys, maybe three guys. I think there was another one that added in the last season. <laughs> but the main character, one of her best friends, Fabiola, I believe her name is, um, is queer. She had this really great coming out storyline in the first season I remember watching and I really enjoyed it. Have you been trying to tell me this for a while? Well, that must have been really hard. I love you. It was very raw um, and I felt that. So they've got their fourth and final season dropping on June 8th on Netflix. So if you guys are interested, go check that one out. Next, we have a movie dropping on Hulu June 15th called Jagged Mind. Again, as of recording this, I don't have a trailer for this, but I am super excited for this film. So it's a horror film that stars Maisie Richardson Sellers, who you guys should all know from Legends of Tomorrow, loved her on that, and also stars Shannon Woodward. 
I'm sorry if I pronounced her last name wrong, but you all should know her from um, The Last of Us Part 2. She plays, she's the voice actor for Dina. Oh, Ellie. I think they should be terrified of you. So Jagged Mind is about a woman plagued by blackouts and strange visions that lead her to discover that she's stuck in a series of time loops, possibly related to her mysterious new girlfriend. So Maisie plays Billy alongside Shannon, who plays her girlfriend, Alex. So I'm mostly excited for this because I love these two. Like, I'm excited to see them together. It's going to be interesting. I mean, I'm not great with horror, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> but I am pretty excited to see this this film. So it says that it's doing a festival run at the American Black Film Festival in Miami Beach from June 14th to June 18th. Um, and the film is going to debut exclusively on Hulu June 15th and on Disney Plus via Star internationally at a later date. So keep your eyes out for that one. All right, next one, I saw this trailer pop up on my uh, YouTube feed. Uh, it's called The Perfect Find. It is a Netflix film, I believe. Getting the job done is great. Stop. But we don't need this moving into some kind of distraction. And I've got a bit of a question mark behind this because uh, <laughs> I don't know, just bear with me. So the trailer, not a lot of gain, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it, it kind of looks like this, uh, this chick, she is struggling, you know? Um, and then she dives into a romance with this guy. That's not sort of what caught my attention. It looks like she has a friend who she has a conversation with that was sitting close to another girl. <laughs> I know this is a stretch, okay? That's why I put question marks behind it. But I will say, the actress that plays her is uh, Aisha Hines, and she plays Hen in the series 911, who is queer in 911. So she's played queer before, and they looked cozy in the trailer. It was like a split second. But, you know, if they're not partners, then why are they sitting so close is the question. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it, overall, this film looks very straight. It might have touches of queerness in it. I don't know if we're lucky, but I thought I would put it in there <laughs> in case it does end up being queer or if you guys want to go check it out. Um, yeah, The Perfect Find on Netflix coming out June 23rd. Next up, coming out June 30th, is a film on Netflix again. Um, this one is called Nimona. That would be me. I hope I said that right. Now, there's a bit of backstory to this one. So, apparently this was originally um, created by an animation studio that was then acquired by Disney, and Disney scrapped it, which caused a lot of headlines because apparently this is very... Uh, it, this is based on a very queer comic book series. But then Netflix picked it up and saved it um, and is now being released on Netflix. So like I said, it's based on a graphic novel. I haven't read the graphic novel. I really am very unaware of <laughs> the backstory to all this. But what I've read online is there is a, a, a gay male lead in the graphic novel and in this film apparently the main i think their name is nimone um apparently they're a queer shapeshifter yeah from what i've heard it's very queer we've got a very queer cast in it with uh chloe grace moretz playing the lead yeah i i'm i'm very intrigued by this movie so i'm gonna check it out even though i have like zero idea what to expect from it. So that one is dropping June 30th on Netflix. Continuing on, we did have a few shows a finish in May, a lot of them finishing up this week, but still continuing on in June from May, we've got uh, the TV show From, we've got the TV show Grease Rise of the Pink Ladies, which I am enjoying that queer storyline in there, even though we are getting scraps, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> we also have the web series Flunk and the series Class of 09, which I am keeping an eye on because it's, ooh, it's got a nice kind of queer storyline building up into it. So I'm enjoying that one. But that's it from me. If you know of any other movies or TV shows coming out in June that I missed, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you would like to see my thoughts on the new series Exo Kitty and the storyline between Yuri and Kitty, check out this video here. Otherwise, I'll see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.